chassis testing is largely complete now. We have three full-time test mules running all the time, and engineers looking at the engine development which is still ongoing. All the development is in-house, but with some help from Ricardo, we just need to keep putting miles on the engine to thoroughly test the durability, keep refining, and ensuring the electronics work perfectly. We designed the engine with Ricardo using wave analysis to identify the engineering we needed to get the power and torque curves we wanted. The other advantage we've got is that we designed the engine with the chassis at the same time, which is a really powerful position to be in, because we can move elements to ensure the best possible packaging overall. Our engine bears almost no resemblance to the Aprilia. Our engine is more compact than theirs, despite being 20% bigger in capacity. We could have run a 90 degree V, which would be about 3 kilograms lighter because there's no need for a balance shaft. The Honda V4 doesn't need one because it has offset crank pins, but we couldn't do that and achieve the revs we wanted. So we run a balance shaft, but it's the best compromise. And the 90 degree V wouldn't fit on our frame. And we're getting a lot more power, over 200 bhp. Every engine will essentially be blueprinted, with graded bearings, wave rods and so on. Meaning we have to buy three sets of bearings for every engine just to make sure we can grade them perfectly.